Ladies, gentlemen, today is a very good day. For those of you who are fans of Superman and Lois, that is, and that is because, if you haven't heard already, Superman and Lois has been renewed for season four. Although there are details to go over here, we don't know if it's the fourth and final season, what exactly is going on with these budget cuts, and I'm going to get into that, and how it shouldn't affect the quality, and also news that Gotham Knights has been cancelled and I kind of want to talk about my overall thoughts with what this means for Superman and Lois somewhat going forward and it may seem obvious we're getting a season four but there is a bit more to it than that but as you can tell I'm pretty happy because we heard that this season was going to end on a cliffhanger we know Michael Cudlitz uh, from The Walking Dead also just like uh, Bruno Mannheim this season is coming in as Lex Luthor we're going to see him this week and uh, obviously he was going to be a major part of season four not was is. So, this is coming from Deadline. Deadline say here, Superman and Lois renewed for 10 episode season 4 at the CW. Now, that's interesting because don't forget, Superman and Lois went from like 15 episodes to 13 episodes, and now we're at 10 episodes. And I'll explain why this is happening as well. So, the CW has renewed Superman and Lois for a 10 episode fourth season, following months of negotiations. It will be the last remaining DC series on the network next season. So months and months of negotiations. That's interesting. That was a theory out there as well. Like, even though we heard some stuff from the president of entertainment, Brad Schwartz, and it, and it didn't sound so good. This is why I was like, hey, it doesn't seem likely. He literally said a little while back now, it does well in broadcast, you know, Superman and Lois, it does well in digital, but it's expensive and doesn't make money for us. That, that didn't sound good at all, but even though that is the case and a literal statement from the CW's president of entertainment, the reason why the whole, oh, it doesn't make money for us and all this, that, and the other, well, the revisions to season four could explain why they're kind of happy to keep it on. So they go and say freshman series Gotham Knights has been cancelled, and we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But what we're about to read out next is the most interesting thing, and I really want your feedback here and your ideas with what I'm about to say. So to make the dual deals possible, there will be budget cuts that include reducing the number of series regular cast members. Superman and Lois has 12 series regulars. Deadline here's the leads are not to be expected. I mean... You would, you would bloody hope so, right? Uh, to be affected, but supporting cast members will likely be. Speeding up the decision is the fact that cast options are set to expire this week. Very interesting. Additionally, the CW is likely to share some library streaming rights to Superman and Lois, which is now available on Max, and the latter there definitely played into the decision a little bit because right after Brad Schwartz, the president of CW Entertainment, said it does well in broadcast, it does well in digital, but it's expensive and doesn't make money for us, he then goes on to say, and we don't have the rights to prior seasons. You need to have a library for people to find the show, and the prior seasons are on HBO Max, so now they're going to be able to have seasons one and two to, I guess, on the CW for a bit of reruns every now and again. And, you know, they believe that will bring more people into the upcoming season and whatnot. I, I don't think that's obviously the most pivotal deciding factor on getting a season four. The biggest is clearly ever since being taken over by Nexstar, the CW uh, are making a lot of budget cuts across the board. Reality TV shows, superhero shows, as I'm sure we all understand, are very expensive, even if you want to mock them sometimes. The CG and whatnot that's put into it, among many other things, does add up the cost compared to that of a non-heavy visual effects show. But there's other major factors here that plays into the decision for them renewing it for season four. And as you just heard, budget cuts in terms of we've got 10 episodes now, no longer 13 and the supporting cast are going to be cut, and this is where I wanted you guys to come in. Now, before we actually dive into that, I do want to answer something that some people are saying everywhere. Oh, God, budget cuts. Does this mean season four is just going to be, like, terrible quality compared to what it is? I know some people will say we haven't had so much Superman this season. I, I, I get what you're saying, but, like, overall, the quality uh, and fidelity of Superman and, and Lois, even this season, which has been a bit more family drama-oriented and a little bit less Clark's, slash Superman in the suit, there's still that caliber that Superman and Lois has over that of other CW shows. Will this be the same? Well, I actually would say don't worry 
too much there because the CW, in an effort to even keep this alive for a fourth season and maybe the final season, and we'll get onto that in a second as well, the fact that they've cut it from 13 episodes to 10 episodes, three episodes being cut from the season, is gonna, like, you gotta imagine, like, if I just popped up multiple bags of cash. Now, after just doing some light research here, The Hollywood Reporter this year said that Superman and Lois, the production costs for each episode can be in the vicinity of $5 million. Now, I think that's probably at the higher end of whatever they're looking at or whatever prediction, but let's just say on the safe side, a few million. Okay, the CW want to make this final season, but kind of save some money because, you know, it's not the CW we knew. Next Star have taken over. They've got F-Boy Island and F-Girl Island. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> they, they don't want to spend a ton of money on this. So they're saving millions of dollars, millions of dollars by cutting three episodes. Then combine that with the fact that we now know not only are they saving millions of dollars by cutting three episodes off of season four, they're also cutting supporting cast members members. So now they're not going to have to pay hundreds of thousands, if not millions across the board for multiple cast members. So now they can somewhat divert some of that money into maintaining what would have been the quality across, I guess, 13 episodes that you're used to seeing in those 10 episodes. Sure, they're probably going to take some of that money and just save it anyway. But do you see what I mean? I think what I've read on Twitter and social media, a lot of people are like, lol, like, okay, fourth and final season, yay, but it's going to look awful. No, it doesn't really work like that. They're saving a lot of money here, and I don't see why it would feel massively different with how much they're saving. They can definitely divert some of those resources and the money that they're saving into the shorter season, the shorter cast list. So again, bottom line, I don't see why that would be massively compromised. So we've got the information about how they're saving money through not spending millions on three extra episodes. But who is going to be cut from the supporting cast? That, that's fascinating to me. Now, I would love your suggestions down in the comments below, but clearly some of the supporting cast is like Lana, Lana herself, Sarah Cushing, her daughter. Of course, we've got John Henry Irons, Steele, his daughter Natalie. We've got Sam Lane. You've got Kyle, and then you've got Chrissy at the Smallville Gazette. So who is going to be cut there? Who do you think could be cut, and what would that do to the story? Because one thing is, even though a lot of people like to clown about Superman and Lois, some other stories they're like, ah, oh, more drama. It is, and it has always been a family show, kind of somewhat of a community show within Smallville that they've played in it since season one as well, the people of Smallville. That's why Lana came in. We got to see her family dynamic and other characters and whatnot. One thing I do want to say is I, I wouldn't expect season four to come, and it's literally just uh, Lois Lane, Elizabeth Tullock, Tyler Hecklin's Clark Kent, the boys, and that's it. You know, where, where's everyone else? That'd feel very different. I think they might cut a couple of contracts and that would still save them a bunch of money. Again, uh, they probably get paid quite half decent. I mean, that, that's debatable, but it's still a lot of money that they could save not hiring that person for a 10 episode order of network television. So I don't expect, I don't expect it to be Sam Lane. But maybe you could argue they could write that into it somehow uh, with him saying, oh, you know, I've, I've been doing this and I, I suppose they already played the retirement thing. Maybe that would have been handy now if they wanted to cut him off there. Maybe he reconsiders retirement. But I wouldn't want Sam Lane gone because he has some great scenes in the show. Chrissy, maybe. Kyle, maybe. Maybe that could be an option because since they've got together and true, they're somewhat of a new couple. But by the end of this season or like in the off season, that's another thing. Like a few months go by in between seasons, we can't forget. At the beginning of season four, you could get some kind of line in the episode saying, oh, you know, Kyle and Chrissy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. They've moved to Central City or, or something like that. I mean, that's hard to believe for Kyle because he's quite a community driven guy, especially with the fire station and whatnot. But do you see what I mean? That there is some stuff they could carve out of there. Now, John Henry Irons and Natalie, I think that'd be a big shame for them to go. Um, they definitely play a role. Obviously, John Henry's a very supporting role. Like he's at the DOD now, he helps out. He literally has saved Superman more times than I can count. But his story technically isn't as relevant as it was in season one. Remember, he came in and people were thinking, oh my God, is that Lex Luthor in the war suit? And then that carried on.
stayed on there. Natalie came to Earth. We explored him dealing with life on Earth with, you know, Lois, who looks like his Lois, and the same thing with Natalie. See what I mean? But now, maybe you could argue that Steel goes off to save the world somewhere else. His story hasn't been, like, so, like, mental this season. I mean, he's had great scenes, but it's obviously not been all about him. I mean, he's had a personal grudge against Mannheim, of course, and he's been in it quite a bit, but I guess you can see what I'm saying. I can imagine storylines for multiple people in the supporting cast to be kind of sent away but it just depends on who it is so who do you guys think it will be now what's very interesting to me as well is that they haven't announced it as the fourth and final season i've always said that superman and lois as james gunn said it can go on for a little bit you know everyone likes the show till season five because that would take us till 2025 and as we all know uh pretty much anything DC TV going forward in animation as well, and even video games. Not to say that some shows won't be set in an Elseworlds universe, but for the most part, kind of like, look, think of the MCU. You have the MCU movies, but then you have MCU TV shows, same actors in the movies, same actors in the TV shows. That's how it's got to kind of be. So you could argue maybe they're, they're not announcing it as the fourth and final season because they might want to green light uh, a 10 episode season five. But I do have a feeling that this is going to be the fourth and final season. And if it is, I would really hope that they're going to write it with that in mind. Because, for example, this season, as we know, we're getting a cliffhanger. Evidently going to be a Lex Luthor thing. That's going to now play out in season four, thank God. But I hope they don't set up another cliffhanger. And you have to think, Todd Helbing, the writers are smarter than that. Because now they know, oh God, we were already on the edge of the cliff with season three. So we're going to probably do what Titans did and what Doom Patrol has reportedly done. Write the fourth season with a kind of somewhat open ending where headcanon you can imagine them going on but also imagine if it does get another season there are more stories to tell but not leave it at a bloody cliffhanger because yeah if it did get cancelled in season four uh and it was like a really decent season again despite these budget cuts as i've already been over fans would be pretty upset just similar to like batwoman or legends you know there's shows out there that get cancelled and you don't get that closure that you want and i don't think that will happen here again i do think season four will be a fourth and final season even though it hasn't been announced here i could be wrong about that by the way they could green light it for a 10 episode season five and that would definitely be the fifth and final season but regardless i do think season four will be written in mind with okay we, we might not be carrying on so let's write the ending headcanon it could continue but also if we do get a season five ah there's a new adventure. So those are like the main details I would say I wanted to cover with what to expect for season four, what to keep in mind. But Gotham Knights, man, um, you know, I feel bad for anyone who's a huge fan of that show. And it is kind of low-key surprising here. Because when you take into account the comment that Brad Schwartz made, like the statement, the CW president of entertainment saying it's expensive and it doesn't make money for us. And Gotham Knights being put out there uh, not so long ago as the least expensive TV show on the CW in, in its history and getting half decent numbers, you would have thought, okay, if you, if you do the rough math there, maybe Gotham Knights would be renewed and Superman and Lois would be cancelled and then fans were hoping that Superman and Lois, it wouldn't be done there. Maybe, maybe Max would pick it up. But no, they, they've cancelled Gotham Knights now and Superman and Lois, the more expensive show, has been kept on for a season four. Granted that they are kind of reshuffling their desk quite a bit in order to make that fourth season of Superman and Lois work. But it's still a bit surprising, as I say, given that common Gotham Knights being a cheap show is still getting quite a few numbers each week. And with Next Star being Next Star, um, it, it just wouldn't have remotely surprised me if the opposite happened. So I would love to know what you think of that. Do you think Gotham Knights deserve to go on for another season? I know a lot of you will probably say, ah, I don't care, but I know a lot of you as well were actually watching it. And are you surprised yourself? Did you actually expect Superman and Lois to get canceled and Gotham Knights to get picked up, but now the opposite has happened? Let me know down in the comments below. But that is everything I've got to say about all of this, guys. Uh, let's get some hype because Superman and Lois isn't over. It's not gonna end with no closure. 
the cliffhanger is leading into a season four, and it could, I'm hoping, despite these budget cuts and whatnot, be the strongest season of the show, even though it still might not lean into as much superhero action, even though they've said that they will stay true to that. The fact that we're getting Michael Cudlitz, and it seems from what we've seen of him so far in all the promo, he has a very commanding presence, and his backstory is very interesting, spending 20 years in prison with Lois Lane contributing to that. You can imagine considering he's only coming in at the end of season three and we're getting this cliffhanger what that 10 episode storyline will be like you know also 10 episodes will be a very cohesive mostly every episode being very main plot driven not so much side stuff plus supporting cast some of them are being cut out so you know whether that's a win or a loss for some of you the silver lining there is that it should be a very very engaging season but again let me know any and all thoughts like this video as well if you did enjoy it like it to celebrate the renewal of superman and lois uh, but just thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you superman and lois fans in the next video goodbye